So here we are, review number God knows what, and I finally got round to reviewing Lancaster Bomber with its new bottle design. Nice label there, Thwaites. A um, little bit disappointed with the cap because there's newt on it. But yeah, I've got a lot to thank for this beer actually because it reminds me of, of first getting into real ales and it, it's one of those beers that before craft ales and real ales and everything became massive it was one of those beers that you'd see more often than not at pubs uh, and it's always and it's such a reliable beer it always tastes fantastic i think on draft and don't get me wrong it's not a flavor that's going to blow you out of water but it just it always tastes just it's a lovely well-rounded beer refreshing fantastic session beer uh, and it's always one of them you don't have to be in mood for. You, you know you're going to drink it, you know what you're going to get, and you know it's going to be a decent quality pint. So we'll see what it's like out of the bottle. This came in at a pound from Morrison's. And there we go, I'll start to pour that in. Oops, there we go. To master this old one handed malark. And that looks lovely. Yep, a nice chestnut colour ale there. I'll put it against the sort of. Wooden unit. Yeah. Nice, almost slightly orange. Okay. Nice carbonation. Got a nice head on it as well. There's about one, just under one finger ahead on that. Looks good. Okay, let's dive in. Oh, I'll smell it first. Here we go. Get a bit of a swish round first like that. Whee! See what the lacing's like. Uh, not much lacing there. A little bit, not much. Here we go. Uh, not a lot actually on the nose. It might be still a little bit cold, just come out of the fridge. It's not been in the fridge for ages. It's always better to drink your beers sort of just cool, really. Hmm, it's got a slight sort of malty notes to it, sort of like slight toasty notes. Not much. Um, slight biscuity smell, maybe. Um, a little bit of a nuttiness from it, actually. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm going to dive in. Right, so I don't know if that's a better angle last time. Last time I liked the top of my head, weren't it? So it weren't very good. So I'll try and do it from there. If that's better, I hope it is. Cheers. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Sweeter than I remember. It's all about the malt spear. You're getting a slight um, sort of maybe an earthy note, maybe from the hops. The hops are almost non-existent. In fact, the flavour is very delicate, actually. Um, I'm not saying it's been watered down or anything like that, uh, but it's a very delicate flavour. It's very nice, like, quite pleasant. Um, not as nice as it is on draft, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and on, not on keg, sorry. Uh, keg. Not as nice as it is on hand pull. Get there in the end, God. Just talk crap sometimes. <laughs> Slightly, it's a nice maltiness, nice slight biscuitness to it. Slight dry bit of finish. It's, it's hardly anything. It's actually quite sweet. It's very pleasant. It's very drinkable. It's um, just nice. I like it actually, I do like it quite a lot. Uh, it's just so sessionable. Um, but it's not as nice as it, it, it the flavours, there's not, there doesn't seem to be a, a lot of, a lot of flavour to look for. But it's kind of like, it's better than a, a, a lager, you know, or it's better than a, a, a generic lager. Um, so I suppose it's got some slight, slight caramelly notes to it, but... Not much. Everything's very slight, uh, but it's it's very it's very pleasant and it, it's very thirst quenching. I'm quite thirsty tonight, and I'm really enjoying this. And if I'm really enjoying it, it can't be bad, can it? You know. I'm just going to turn it around again. Just a little bit of a close up of the new artwork. So, I've got a nice little sort of stylized Lancaster bomber there, which looks good. That used to be the bottle cap, actually. I'm sure it did at one time. Um, yeah, full-bodied amber ale. 
I'd say it's medium bodied. 4.4. Now it does not taste like 4.4% at all. It tastes a lot. To, yeah, I, the alcohol. You, the alcohol doesn't come through on this beer. Um, so that's something to bear in mind when you're drinking it. A classic English ale, chestnut in colour, with a lovely full-bodied flavour, enriched with wonderful late hop character. I, I'm not getting a lot of hop character on it. I'm not going to lie. Um, a multi-award winning ale that pays tribute to the Avro Lancaster and is quite simply the best British beer. Or the best of British beer. Uh, well, you know what? It's one of those beers that's kind of stood the test of time, hasn't it? Because we're still drinking it and it's been going for ages. So maybe arguably it is one at best. And if you had a blindfold test and you were to drink this, you wouldn't say it weren't nice. And you probably wouldn't say it's like, um, it, you know, it's better than old Wells and Young stuff out there. It's, and it doesn't, and it's better than um, the other one out there, um, Green King. Problem with Green King, all their stuff tastes alike. Now, Thwaites stuff tastes quite similar, but it's got it's still got a nice uniqueness to it that's its, that's its own trademark, if you know what I mean. Because I've got a lot to thank for this beer. It's probably one of the beers that really got me into real ales. Um, and it's one of them... It's the, listen, if you're getting into real ales, try try some of this, because it's lovely. It's really nice. Um, and it does hit the spot. I don't know where I'm going to go for our market. We're a quid a bottle. Um, I'm probably going to go for about 7.7. .7. I think that's quite a fair, a fair mark. If it was on cask, I'd probably go a little bit higher. It's a little bit more flavoursome, and I quite like the creaminess of it when it's on cask as well. But um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice beer, and I think 7.7 .7 is pretty good. So thanks for watching again, uh, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. I like your comments. Please add comments. I, I try and answer everybody's comments as soon as I can. Uh, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Twitter. So see you around.